In this video, I'll show you how to rank on the first page of Google using programmatic SEO. I'll show you step by step how to use AI to generate content, how to use automation tools to get amazing images on autopilot for free, and how to import 1,601 AI generated blog posts into WordPress and Webflow. This technique builds massive organic traffic that up until now has been only accessible for large companies with big budgets. Let's go. So first, just so we're all on the same page, let's take a look at exactly what is programmatic SEO. Programmatic SEO is the method of mass producing pages of content using a database to rank high in Google search results for similarly structured key phrases. So a really good example of programmatic SEO that you've probably seen before in your searches on the net is what TripAdvisor does. TripAdvisor consistently ranks at the top of Google search results for the head search term things to do. So here we have things to do in, and then the variable is the city name. And if you go into Google and you type in things to do in Melbourne, you'll find probably within the first or second search result in the organic search result will be TripAdvisor, which is what we see here. Another example you might have heard of Calendly. These guys have got the head term integrate my calendar with and say Zoom, Salesforce, HubSpot, etc. And they have a page that's been generated programmatically from a database. Same thing. Click on this, say WebEx, you get your tiny bit of content around it, but they have a page that answers the search intent question. So if we take a look at SEMrush's organic traffic for Calendly, you can see that this process has also grown their organic traffic massively, probably in addition to other marketing that they are doing, but they have got a page for every type of calendar integration available and it drives this traffic. Using the same approach, I'm going to generate 1,601 articles around these eight topic clusters. And you can see the same format. We have the head search term, and then we have the variable. So AI content for, and then the variable. These clusters will link to a pillar article. And depending on how we set up the post template, we might also have some other backlinks to an external site or to other posts with, within the actual domain itself. And the actual process to do this is very basic. So let's get into that now. All right, so now we're gonna generate our titles, our programmatic titles. And I'm gonna do this one first, the AI content for. So I've just logged into Mango here, and we're gonna to go to the Beethoven module. Now I'll just paste in here, AI content for, that's all we need to do. And now I'm just gonna press generate programmatic SEO titles. Okay, so Beethoven has returned the first 100 titles that we are going to generate content for. And as you can see, we've got the head term and then we have the variable. So it's really quick and really easy. AI content for marketing, SEO, blog, social media. It's exactly what we're after. Now we're going to take that, we're going to trim the numbers off, and then we're going to generate the content. And it's only going to take a couple of clicks. All right, now we've got our titles. All we need to do is press copy and then I have a bit of a spreadsheet template set up. I'm just going to paste this in here. And all that's happening on this sheet is this column here, it is actually just trimming off the numbering. And in the third column, column C here, it's just pivoted really and moved all the titles into one cell separated by commas. And all we need to do with that is just press copy. And then we just go back over to Mango and we select the Verstappen tool. All we need to do is paste those titles in here and you'll see it's going to generate 51 articles for us. Perfect. And I will press run on that and it'll give an estimate to how long that's going to take. When it's finished, it's going to email you so you can go away. You don't need to do anything. So that entire process to generate our titles and send them off to be produced literally takes about 90 seconds. Alrighty, so while our content is being generated, I'm just going to show you a quick and easy way to get some high quality images. So I've gone into Make here. It's a um, like an integration kind of tool. I'll leave a link for it in the description. It's free. So all you need to do is get an, get a Make account, and basically you just need Google Sheets. You need a Splash Unsplash account, and that's pretty much it. So the process is we have a Google Sheet. And it's going to have column A here. And this is a collection reference. So if you've ever been into Unsplash, it's a free image library. 
you go into any collection and you look in the URL, it actually has a reference number. That's what these numbers are here. And I've selected a whole bunch of collections that are in the futuristic AI SEO kind of space. And I'm going to, with the click of a button, generate the URLs for random images within these collections. So if I go back over to our make tool here, all that's happening is this Google Sheet, it is going to, for each row, it's going to produce a URL of a random image from Unsplash, and then it's going to paste that row. So I'm just going to run this and show you how it works and away it goes. So it will go and grab 50 URLs. That is done. Now, if we go back to our Google Sheet, there you go. There is our 50 URLs for high quality images. Now, if I just want to pick one, for example, to take a, a look at it, we can do that. The other way to get a preview of it, you can see in column C here, all that this is doing is just a basic formula and it is equals this cell and it shows a preview of the image and you can make that bigger or smaller if you want to, but you can, you can check out any of these images just by pasting the URL into a browser. Now we've got our images. Basically, I've got this spreadsheet template set up and all we need now is the content that's going to come from the Verstappen output, which is generating our 50 articles. It's going to give us our title, the body content in markdown format. I've also updated Verstappen to give the SEO meta title, the SEO meta description, and it will also produce the contents, although this is still in beta uh, because we're still doing some testing. We get that content. There is a quick process that needs to be ran that will convert all the markdown to HTML. I've done a video on that and I can put a link in the description. But once that is done, we are good to go. We then have the correct file type, which can be loaded into WordPress or into Webflow. And if you're wondering what these other columns are with the green sort of headings along here. I've added some inline styling. This is just a bit of HTML we can put in the header and that can set our font. It can set the amount of spacing in the paragraph and that type of thing. You don't have to do that. It's depending how you want your page set up when you load this data in. So we've also got the author, the publication date, and also a category for the blog and a tag for the blog. Okay, I just want to do a quick shout out to all the people that supported the recent launch of Mango on Product Hunt. You can see there is too many people and names to mention here, but I just want to thank all of you. We ended up in the top 10 products of the day and votes are still coming in. If you want to check out Mango on Product Hunt, take a look at the reviews and the comments and the feedback. I will leave a link in the description. Also, there is a discount code. I'll show it on the screen now. If you don't have Mango yet, you can use that to get 70% off for 12 months. Okay, so I've got notification that the content has been generated and it can be downloaded. So you'll get a link, takes you to a screen that looks like this, get the download, and when you've done that, you'll get your file. As shown previously, there are a couple of columns of data we need to complete the process. So we will get the body content, which is in markdown format. We'll get our table of contents, meta description, meta title, and the title text. Now I'm just going to copy this data and put it into our Google Sheet into the right columns. So here we go. I have copied the data from our Verstappen export over into our Google Sheet into our template. The only thing we've got left to do now is this column F. And what this is, it is the conversion of Markdown to HTML. To do this, I'm going to use this Make tool. And all I need to do here is press run and it is going to take that column of markdown and convert it into HTML. So I'll just do that. And it should stop at about row 50 or something like that. All done. And you can see here, we're back in the Google Sheet, we have now our HTML. So this, this file is now ready. All I have to do is save it as a CSV. Okay, at this point, you might be thinking, hey, you just produced 50 articles and you said you were going to do 1,601, which is correct. And this process just gets repeated. So if you're doing 100 at a time, 16 times. If you're doing 50 at a time, it's going to be 32 times. Okay, so once you're in WordPress, to load up the CSV file is really easy. All you need to do is grab a plugin called Ultimate CSV Importer Free. Once you've done that, just activate it and click on it. All you need to do now is grab the CSV file and 
load her up. It's going to ask you whether you want new or existing item. We're going to go new and they're going to be recorded as or imported as a post. Hit continue and then we just map up each of our columns with our WordPress field. So when that's done, all we have to do is hit continue. And I would recommend to download external images into your media library. So make sure you click that one, hit continue, and then we can just start the import. Once your import's complete, you can see your post just by going up to the post menu and you'll have a listing of all of those articles you've just imported to WordPress. Now I've gone through this in a couple of other videos in detail. You can check them out there. But now I want to show you how you can bring that same file into Webflow. Alrighty, so I've just jumped over here to Webflow. I'll leave a link in the description. You can set up a website with a database in Webflow for free. Once you get here, just select a blog template. And once you've done that, it's going to create a site for you. Once you get into this site, it's really easy. Now, this is not a Webflow tutorial, but I'll quickly just show you how you can bring a CSV file in. So over on the left hand side, you'll see this database kind of symbol. When you click on that, this is the CMS collections at the top will be the blog post. Click on that up in the top row. You'll see import. Once you click import, you get to this section here. Now I've selected the file we're importing and all that's asking us, is this your CSV's header row? And yes, it is. So we can press continue. So once you hit that import button, you do have the opportunity to just adjust the mapping if it's needed between the CSV file and the CMS database within Webflow. But typically it matches it up pretty well automatically and it brings it in. Now you can see here we were going to bring in content around the cluster AI content 4 and then we had Beethoven produce that variable word like technology, health, science, sports, education, inspiration, all of those kind of words. And this is the content. This is the final product. So with Webflow, we've set this up so that if you watch this video, you can come over to this site and check out the content that the tool is generating and how you can set up a, a template for a post that also drives traffic. And you can have these internal links. So if we go right down to the bottom of the article here, you can see this is directing back to the mango website and also you've got internal links to other blog posts. So if you would like to learn more about programmatic SEO and Mango, check out this video here. I hope you got some value from the video. If you did, give it a like, consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.